Hello, it's Dr. T. I want to talk to you about warts, one of the most common infections we find in the foot. Uh, it, you got to understand it's a viral infection of the skin. The skin itself is an immune system to out external infections. It protects the body. Unfortunately, it's a virus that affects the skin layer of the epidermis. What will happen is the, the cells will be uh, infected with a virus causing the cells the metabolic rate or the the turnover rate of the cells to be accelerated because the body recognizes it as an injury and then what it'll do is actually send a vessel to that area and it, it will help feed and try to destroy the infection unfortunately it's a benign infection to the to the skin so the immune system doesn't actually kill the wart uh, you can self-diagnose a wart by pinching it and if you feel discomfort it most likely is a wart. Also by just looking at it, it'll have like a cauliflower uh, appearance. It will actually break the skin lines. If you look at it very closely, the cells are abnormal so it will disrupt your normal skin line pattern. Uh, treat treatments uh, at home, you can use some of the over-the-counter acids and uh, preparations that you can get at the pharmacy. Many times they're very effective. Understand that uh, the wart lives in a very good environment for it. It lives in the shoes, which are dark and moist and high CO2 levels. Therefore, you want to try to rotate your shoes, make sure your shoes are dry, make sure you, you even maybe use a foot uh, antiperspirant of some sort to bring down the moisture level of your feet. Uh, treatments that I use in the office that I've found very effective are liquid nitrogen or cryotherapy. That's where I freeze the wart, trying to freeze these little vessels, occlude these vessels, so that there's an inflammatory response, a blistering response, so to speak, pushing the wart out and, and including these, uh, the vascular supply. Uh, if that's not effective, I also implement using the laser, where I actually laser uh, with healthy margins and actually grab the wart, pull it out, and laser these vessels so it does not grow back. Of course, uh, it's best to try to treat a solitary wart because a solitary wart can become a mosaic wart where you have a group of warts uh, forming. Uh, warts themselves are very stubborn uh, manifestations of that virus infection, and uh, it's what I want the patients to understand is you can re- uh, infect yourself by wearing shoes without socks because it can get in the sole of the shoe. Uh, I'd like to always uh, request that patients try not to dig or scrape at a wart themselves. You can hurt yourself very seriously and if you know if you had had uh, poor results from the home remedies please feel free to call me and uh, come in and let me take a look.